old guy in Colorado. Doodah. Hey folks, old guy is here. Mrs. Old Guy, how much is? <laughs> okay, so I said a little while back on my live stream that I was going to try to make cheese for the very first time. And so I thought that's what I would do. The simplest one to make is mozzarella. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I looked at, you know, and I'm not going to pretend that I know what I'm doing on this at all, because I don't. <laughs> but uh, I can, you know, I watched a, a few videos, and I read uh, a few recipes and so forth on how to do this. We'll see if I get anywhere near what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, so I've got a gallon of milk. I just, they just happen to have these half gallons on sale. So, I'm going to dump both of these into my pot here. Alright. Now, I, I went to look at the, um, um, the rennet here. And uh, this is a, an animal rennet. Um, I guess there's two kinds, animal rennet and a vegetable rennet. Um, and since I've never, never never used either one, I can't tell you if one works better than the other. Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right. But what I did see on this bottle of rennet here on the instruction is to use non-chlorinated water. So I guess that would mean for most people, uh, a lot of people that live in cities, their water's chlorinated, so uh, just get you a bottle of water. Directions said to use three quarters of a cup divided. So there's three quarters of a cup divided. Okay, I need to use citric acid and the rennet. So the instructions said to use a teaspoon and a half of citric acid. So there's a teaspoon. There's the half. And a quarter teaspoon of the rennet, and that's got to be mixed in water too. I'm sure you can hear my little puppies in the background. <laughs> They're playing. All right, I'm going to grab me a spoon, and I'm going to give this citric acid to stir. I want it completely dissolved. Okay, that's pretty good. And so I need to stir this in. Stir that in really well. Hey, so my thermometer <laughs> is uh, right in between 95 and 100. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my thermometer out. It says to remove it from the heat and stir in the rennet in the water. And it says to stir it for 30 seconds. Thank 
just making sure that the rennet is fully mixed in. We don't want to have part of this milk that doesn't uh, do the curd. Almost there. Okay, so now I'm going to cover that. I'll just grab a pizza paint or something and I'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay, <laughs> so it's been 10 minutes. I pulled the lid off and it doesn't look like it, it should, I think. I don't know. I'll see if this actually has occurred to it. Here's my timer. Let's see. Uh, it does. So you gotta go through and cut it. Doesn't look like it's separated from the way quite good enough. But hopefully this next step will let it do that. I'm gonna cut this into some cubes. <laughs> this is all a gamble here guys for not having done it before we'll see if, if this turns out at all <laughs> okay so now it says to gently stir it and bring it up to 109 degrees oh look I guess that did make some decent curd you gotta be gentle with it, it says. So, uh, gentle I will be. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try and get this part done. We'll see how well it works. And uh, I'll see you in just a few minutes. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I got this up to 107. Come on down here, Mrs. Old Guy. And it says just to start uh, straining it out. It just doesn't look like it turned out the best. The curd did not really come together. I don't know. I must have got a step wrong here. But I'm going to keep working with it. And we'll see if I can get this to uh, actually turn into cheese on the back. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I'm going to chalk that one up to experience. Um, the curd did not want to, to set at all. Uh, but the big thing that ruined it is the fly Aww. got into our, my cheese curd and it's like, no. <laughs> no fly cheese for me or Mrs. Olkai. <laughs> so I'm going to start all over again. It's a two gallons, or two gallons, two half gallon jugs emptied out again. Okay, and we're going to start over again here, citric acid, it's a teaspoon and a half. This is that bottled water. Stir that up really well. So um, I screwed up either on the temperature or the amount of rennet. Uh, one of those two things, or I may have stirred stirred it too long. Once you add that rennet, 
Uh, from what I understand, if you stir it too long, uh, the curds will do exactly what they did. Okay. So there's the citric acid. And I'll just use the spoon to stir it in with. temperature back onto that medium heat and uh, in the meantime I'll grab the rennet and I'll get some more measured out and into the water so and I'm ready to add that again I'll be back. So I, my first mistake the first time was I got it too hot. It's only supposed to be at 90 degrees not 95 or 100. <laughs> so I've got it up to 90 degrees and I think I might have stirred the rennet too long you can do that too if you stir it too long it actually will start to break the curd before it even has a chance to make so here we go one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'm going to stop. Okay. And throw this pan on the top and 10 more minutes and hopefully <laughs> this time it works <laughs> it's been 10 minutes <laughs> and uh, this little guy I'm gonna have you come over and, and we're all gonna see together how well this turned out don't really see that yeah, I guess I am seeing the separation a little bit. I don't know if that looks any better or not. I think, uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm hoping that the, the longer I let it sit, that the, the more the curd will come together. So I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and then, then we'll take another look. Okay, um, it's been another 10 minutes. Let's see. Oh yeah, it does look a little better. See this old guy around that edge? That looks better. So let's see if I can cut. Oh yeah, that looks better. We will see how this turns out. Hopefully this will be here. Okay, let's see here. That looks better. I think uh, I, th I think we may have got it this time. <laughs> okay, so now I got to go to that second step and put it back on the heat and uh, uh, bring it up to like uh, 107. I think it said. Before I do that, I'm going to double check and make sure on uh, that temperature too because. Uh, uh, that makes a big difference. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so uh, I look back at the destructions. <laughs> and uh, what it said is to give the curds just a quick, gentle stir. Put it back on the heat and bring it up to 109. So, come on over, Mr. Little Guy. Let's see if these can take that little bit of a stir. They're definitely better curd. Yeah. But I don't want to break them up either. It's, they, you know, I guess I'm just gonna get this over the heat. <coughs> I'm gonna gently stir it, like it says. Fingers crossed. All right, we'll see ya. Oh, uh, 110. 
pulled it off the heat and it looks better this time. Uh, the last time it was, uh, it was still really milky and it looks looks like the, the way it has separated much better. The curd still isn't as, as big as, as I thought it would be by now. Uh, it looks like it's gonna work. We'll, 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 we're gonna find out here. I'm gonna drain this off. So I did get some, I, I, did, I did a little better this time. You can still see it's still kind of milky. And as much as I don't want to, I'm gonna have to go ahead and put it in the microwave uh, one or two times to um, get it hot enough to kind of melt and be able to start stretching. Last step. <laughs> So I got this uh, some whey at 185 degrees and I'm just going to dump this in there for oh, like five seconds or so. Okay. Now I got to stretch it. quite stretching good but it will we've got to do it a few times it might help if I kind of flatten it out a little bit okay back in probably do this like three or four times plenty hot I'll tell you that <laughs> nicely. Okay, now I'm going to do it again and this time I'm going to add the salt. Might maybe give it just a little bit longer in there. Far. <laughs> it's so good. All right. That is hot. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. There's not quite a teaspoon of the kosher salt. Yeah, we got some cheese. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right, I'm gonna give this one last, one last dunk. I want to make sure that I can stretch it enough to uh, make sure that that salt is evenly distributed. Now that is a melty. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, let's get this into a little ball here. And there you know. What do you got? A little bit of mozzarella cheese. All right, I'm going to just let this cool down for a second. Um, I'm going to clean up my mess and we'll give it a taste. There it is, <laughs> our cheese. And what you see there is uh, air pockets. <laughs> Here we go, let's cut a piece. This is all good, you want a dry bite? Sure. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Mozzarella. That's good. It is. I could have put in maybe just a tiny bit more salt. Hmm. That's mozzarella cheese, all right. That's good. Well, I guess I made cheese for the first time. Um, not without some mistakes. So, my advice: if you're gonna make cheese, 
Um, just double check on what you're doing, read things a little more thoroughly than I did, uh, and you might avoid some mistakes. And, uh, and also, this time I let that curd sit for longer, so maybe if it doesn't look right, try that before anything else. Okay, well, I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see you next time.